here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Famous for its paper, but also these days famous for fracking, a huge energy boom for natural gas, clean energy that has affected and turned the fates of areas like this has really helped a ton of families. Fracking is a contentious issue right now. The left wants to ban it entirely. They say so many, many times, ban fracking. Great practical joke, Jim. Got me go to the annex. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 The right wants to keep fracking and keep the energy jobs in places like this. And so the question is, what do people here in the state of Pennsylvania think about fracking and should it be banned? We're asking that today for Benny on the Block. Let's go hear what people in Scranton have to say. City. Lazy Scranton, the electric city. Scranton is called the electric city because in the 1880s, it had gotten the first electric streetcar. You can see here behind me, the Scranton electric city sign. It's famous. However, since the sign was put up, the city has lost a little bit of brightness. It's tough times economically for Scranton, certainly during the 1930s and 40s, but now a city roaring back. Under fracking and under current tax policies, Scranton has certainly seen an uptick. You're from Pennsylvania? I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. You yes. really? All yep. right. Fantastic. Born and, born and raised in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yep. I mean, what would happen if you banned fracking here in Pennsylvania? Especially here in Northeast Pennsylvania, you would have countless people out of work. What about us, Michael? Do we still have jobs? I don't know. Probably not. You have companies like Cabot, you know, that are up in Susquehanna, uh, Bradford counties, Wyoming County. And they are some of the biggest job providers, you know, here in Northeast Pennsylvania. It would make catastrophic. It was the biggest thing to hit Northeast Pennsylvania was the fracking and the natural gas and the little bit of oil that they've hit. This is huge. That's what she said. Point blank, he wants to ban it. I mean, is that popular around here in Pennsylvania? Absolutely not. There's like 600,000 people that have jobs, and he wants to take them all away, every single one. It's over. We are screwed. And then he'll say, well, I didn't mean that. And then, so his word, the first thing that came out is actually what his word is, ban fracking. Boy, have you lost your mind, because I'll help you find it. It creates a lot of jobs. Plus, it also brings lower price for nat natural gas in the gas industry. The farmers, the distressed lands up there, those guys are starting to make some money because they lease the land or sell the land. Most importantly, it's the low the gas bills for the people around here yeah. and the jobs. You know, 600,000 jobs would be gone in a blink. No, don't like that. Yeah. Livelihoods, crushing families. You know, that's sad, that's sad yeah. if he did that. We pay the cheapest gas now than we've ever paid in my fi 45 years of life that I could ever think backwards. It is the cheapest, cheapest it's ever been. If we lose fracking, we're gonna be back to $5 a gallon gasoline in Northeast Pennsylvania, not counting natural gas. In you got to really take a look at it. They're saying that they want to ban fracking altogether and that fracking is bad. Is that true? We'll have a simple question for them. When they're traveling, how are you getting there? You're coming by bus? You're coming by plane? How are you going to get there? Are you going to walk? Why don't you explain this to me like I'm five? Like, what would happen under the Green New Deal for places like Scranton? The Green New Deal would be an absolute disaster. You would have, you know, like we said before, a huge loss in energy jobs. Dunder Mifflin Scranton is being shut down. Michael. Uh... We shouldn't be talking about this until all the decisions have been made. You knew about this all along, didn't you? Jan told me just a few minutes before she told you. Traitor. I think especially for an area like this, where the history is built around coal, and specifically anthracite coal, people love energy jobs here. It's just, it's the history of the whole town and county. So what would happen if the Green New Deal was implemented for a place like Scranton? Jobs would go out the door, for 100%, it's a fact. Jobs would go out the door. I think it would be terrible to implement that. All right, come on, go! Fuck! Oh! So no Green New Deal for Pennsylvania? Absolutely not. <laughs> With a lot, tremendous loss of jobs that we'd only have. The left has done a full-on embrace of socialism. Is socialism popular in Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> No, socialism is not. 
at all. You know, we want our freedom, we want our rights, not to be locked down and say, you know, I get 99% of my check, I'm gonna give to you, live on 1% so everybody can live free, and two years later, what happens? We're decimated, and our whole country is, is in ruins. Why do kids like socialism these days? Um, I think a lot of kids listen to what celebrities and the media says. I mean, that's the most basic answer, but I think it is true. A lot of people go with trends, and I think socialism has become a trend, for sure, especially on, in places like college campuses. Replace these pages with life lessons. Scranton is the electric city, but it won't be very bright under socialism. If you kill the power and the energy jobs in Pennsylvania, if you implement the Green New Deal, man, you are gonna see dark days here. It won't just be that sign out. It'll be a lot of people's jobs out of this state. Seems like they want to keep their energy flowing, they wanna keep their fracking going, and they wanna keep these signs lit up. Keep Scranton Electric and keep Pennsylvania free market. That's what we heard today, Benny on the Block. See you guys next week. Hey, it's Benny Johnson here, Turning Point USA's Chief Creative Officer. If you like this video you just watched, be sure to subscribe to the official Turning Point USA channel and never miss an episode. See you guys next week.